Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Tim Liptrap. I'd like to take a few moments to go over a very simplified income statement problem for the company called XYZ. XYZ has sales of $927,000. The cost to produce those sales is $450,000. The depreciation expense on their machinery was $75,000. Their interest expense on all their bank loans in their notes that they took out was $45,000 and they currently have a tax rate of 35%. Based upon these numbers, we are looking to solve the net income for the firm. What I've done is I've created an Excel spreadsheet with a very simplified income statement. On this income statement has sales, cost, depreciation, earnings before interest and taxes I call it EBIT other people might call it something different interest then you have EBT or earnings before taxes your taxes and then your net income we are trying to solve the problem for the net income so we have sales of nine hundred twenty seven thousand dollars so I'm just going to type that into our Excel spreadsheet our cost of doing business is four hundred fifty thousand dollars so I'm going to type that in our depreciation expense is seventy five thousand dollars so costs and sales and depreciation we need to figure out what our earnings are before interest and taxes very first thing I'm going to do just to make it easy for us is I am going to put a single line underneath this box right here so I'm gonna come in here and I like to put I want to underline that single line underline so what that means is kind of a subtotal so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit equal and I'm gonna take our number of sales and I'm going to subtract out the cost and I'm gonna subtract out the depreciation just hit enter so my new number for my earnings before interest and taxes is four hundred two thousand dollars the interest that we need to pay according to the problem is forty five thousand dollars so then what I'm going to do here is I would like to come in here and put another sub line and I'd like you to do this when you're doing this problem so that we can see it and then I'm going to subtract these two numbers four hundred two minus forty five thousand and I'm now going to have a number of three hundred fifty seven thousand dollars now my taxes are thirty five percent so what I'd like to do is I'm going to hit equal and I'm going to take this number and I'm going to multiply it which is the asterisk times point three five and that gives me my tax number of hundred twenty four thousand nine hundred fifty I'm going to put a single underline underneath this as well now these are remember these are kind of like the subcategories now what I'm going to do is then I am going to subtract out 357. I'm going to take 124, the taxes from that number. Just hit enter. And the solution to this problem of the net income was $232,050. We're going to go a couple steps further into the same problem. First we're going to look at dividends and retained earnings. Suppose that XYZ company paid out $195,000 in cash dividends. What is the addition to the retained earnings? First, cash dividends is money that is paid out to stockholders. Now, retained earnings is the money that's essentially kept in the bank from year to year. So let's show you what this is going to look like. We get a little equation here. I'm going to pop this up here. It says that net income is equal to dividends and the addition to retained earnings. So basically, the net income is what you've made at the end of the year. So that is equal to the dividends that you pay out to an individual or individual stockholders and the money that you keep in the bank. So it's equal to the money that you keep in the bank plus the money that you pay out. So I'm going to rearrange this. Yeah, I'm going to show this to you. Addition to retained earnings is what we are looking to solve. So it is the net income minus the dividends. So as you recall, let's see if I can pull this up here. The net income was $232,050. So we have $32,050 minus $195,000. And it should come out to be 
fifty dollars. Let's double check that. So we're going to go back here to the net income, which is two three two zero five zero. Two three two zero five zero minus one hundred ninety five thousand is equal to thirty seven thousand fifty dollars. So when looking for the retained earnings, all it is is net income minus the dividends. Now we're going to continue on and look at another calculation, the per share earnings and dividends for this particular company. Now, same company, we're going to suppose that XYZ had 97,500 shares of common stock outstanding. Now these are owned by individuals, companies, mutual funds, whoever happens to own a share of this company, as well there's 97,500 of them. The question is, is what is the earnings per share or EPS, that's earning per share figure. And then what is the dividends per share figure as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop this right in here. So let's take a quick look at this. EPS, earnings per share, is equal to the net income over the number of shares. Very simple. EPS is the net income over the number of shares. So we have 232,050 over 97,500. That's the number of shares. Then the dividends per share is the 195,000, which we paid out in cash, divided by the 97,500. So let's take the calculator out and we're going to show this to you. So we get the calculator going over here and we're going to say 232, 232050, whoops, clear, let's see, 232050 divided by 97,500 is equal to $2.38 per share on the EPS and then the dividends per share is we're going to do we're going to take the 195,000 and then we're going to divide that by 97,500 and our dividends per share is actually rounded out to be rounded out to be two dollars per share okay. so that is the solutions to the per share dividend earnings and the dividends in the one that we just in the one that we did before that is the cash and the retained earnings. Thank you for being part of this and good luck on your questions.